Hallelujah. Beloved in Christ, the Almighty Jehovah has given us another day for you and I to survive. So, beloved, let us pray and thank our Father, our Lord, our King, immortal, you alone is worthy for giving us another day like this. It is your mercy that endure forever. So, Father, we thank you, covenanted God, for giving us a breath for your people around the whole world. May your will shall be done. Heavenly Father, we adore you. We magnify the name. The name alone is Christ, our King, our Lord. We thank you. We honor you for giving us a break. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved, today too, he has given us a word. Only his word will let you and I to survive. So without wasting time, the title of the message is God's salvation is through Christ. So we will go to Psalm 62. And beloved, let us hear the word of God. Truly, my soul waited upon God. For him come my salvation too. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. Three. How long would ye images mischief against the man ye shall be a slave of all you? As a bowel will shall ye be, and as a torturing fence for the only console to cast him down from his excellency. They delight at lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curses inwardly. Five, my soul waits that only upon the Lord, for my expectation is from him. Six, he only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. Seven, in God is my salvation and my glory and the rock of my strength. And my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times. Ye people, pour out your heart before him. God is refuge for us. Nine, surely men of low degree are vanity. Men of high degree are liars. To be a lay in a balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. Ten, trust not in oppression or become not a vain in a robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. 11, God has spoken once, twice. I have heard this, that the power belong unto God. Also unto thee, O Lord, belong mercy. For thy render to every man according to his work. Hallelujah. Beloved. This was by David, for David, he knew his God. So this morning, I have a question. Do you know your God? Do you fellowship with the Holy Spirit? So beloved, let us go through the passage again. Truly, the soul wait upon the Lord. Does your soul wait upon the Lord? Do you seek the face of the Lord? Do you do his commandment? Do you love him? Do you cherish him? 
So this, uh, this morning, your soul and my soul should wait upon the Lord because he is the owner of the life. He created you and I. So beloved, we should let our soul be upon him. Hallelujah. He is only our rock and our salvation. Salvation is from our Lord Jesus Christ, the greatest gift for mankind. And yet people are rejecting salvation. So beloved, we have to accept salvation. Without Christ, we cannot make it. So this morning, where do you stand? Do you fellowship with him? Are you willing to accept Christ as your personal savior? For those who does not know him, it will be too late. It is only today. So this morning, make up your mind and run from the crooked way. Because without salvation, you cannot be with Christ. Christ has laid his life for you and I. But why are you rejecting his salvation? What a good God. What a merciful God. So we continue. He alone is the one we have to depend upon. My soul waits only upon the Lord. Only him can save you and I. Only him has salvation. Only him died for you and I. So beloved, beside Christ, everything is useless. Oh, merciful God. He is our rock and our salvation. In God is salvation and his glory. He has given us this, and yet people are serving ungodly. A time will come, those ungodly, they cannot help you. They themselves, they need help. So beloved, salvation, God has given it to us freely, and yet people are rejecting it. Immortal, we give you all your glory, for giving us a message concerning salvation for our soul. We thank you and thank you and thank you, covenanted God, for what you have done. No one can lay his life for us, only you alone. That's why you are the king of kings, the Lord of lords, everlasting to everlasting God, covenanted God. Take all your glory for what you have done. It's so good, it's so gracious, it's so merciful. We thank you. We give you all your honor. We give you all your glory for giving us a message. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Beloved, today is the day the word has come for. Today, wherever you are, if you have not accepted Christ, it is time to repent and accept him as your personal savior. Tomorrow, it will be too late. Only today, you and I, we have. We give him all his glory. It is a day of repentance. Beside today, you don't know if you can be alive tomorrow. So today is the day for repentance and accept Christ. Salvation he has given to you and I. So this is the day. Father, we thank you. Covenanted God, we thank you for giving us a mercy. We praise your name. Your name alone is worthy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy Spirit, I take this opportunity. May you bless your end time prophet. It is you that have called him, him, the wife, and the children. May you bless them. The viewers, may God bless you also. May your heart desire be met that you avail yourself daily to listen to the end time prophet. May God greatly bless you. In Jesus Christ's mighty name.
Amen.